Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my United States of America EU4 Let's Play. Uh, sorry about the last two episodes guys, if you have watched them, I've been playing terribly. Uh, I've had three pointless wars against three different like, sort of groups of nations, and I've been defeated on pretty much every one. Um, mainly because of technology, and I don't know what to do with this, because I quite frankly can't afford to pay for advisors now. Um, which is a disaster. I mean, it doesn't, it's our army maintenance, apparently. I don't need a navy. <laughs> Straight in, expand this navy. I don't need one. I mean, I haven't even used it yet. It's just taken up a bit of money. Took up like three, three ducats or whatever it is per turn. There's a big war going on down here, but I don't know who's going to win. Um, all I can realistically do is wait until my manpower builds up, um, and, and then just, well, I don't know. I mean, what I need to do is build a stronger economy, build up my tech, and build up my armed forces and defences. Because I actually, last episode, I had to lose this province here, Muncie, or whatever. Um, I did actually say last episode, however, that I was going to start building alliances, and that is still something that I want to do. Um, I've got obviously I've got my standard alliance with the Great, with the British, well, I'd with, allied with Bohemia and Aragon. Um, but then I desperately want an alliance with these, with the French, because Great Britain and France are not actually allied anymore. Um, because France is allied with, oh no, they are now, they've just got an alliance, lol. Um, because Great Britain and Castile went to war, so I'm only guessing that that broke their alliance or something. I have no idea. Shit. Come here, you bastard. Why can't you? God damn it, how's Portugal towards France? They've just been at war, so probably not a good idea that we get an alliance with them. Um, well, this is a bit of a disaster. Although, I've only just realised I've got two colonists here that I could send off to go and colonise some land. Can't reach that far, so um, where would I want to send them? What? Recall your colonist. I haven't even sent sent one. Why is it like an option to do? I don't know. Diego de Castro. I'm guessing that's um, Portugal claiming that. Or S Castile. I'm guessing it's Portugal because it's next to it. So yeah. Um, Right. Well, I might actually try and get this. Let's do it. I'm gonna get it there so they can't actually expand. Uh, Castile and Portugal can't sp expand, which is should be quite funny. The only trouble is I don't have an armed forces over there, and I've just got rid of my navy. Although my navy wasn't actually like a transport navy, so I had no transport fleet anyway. So it's good. It's all good. Um, our economy is picking up a bit. I've, I've, I, think I've, I think I'm going to give it a rest with uh, declaring war on countries just to take provinces. Um, because it's not going very well. What's this? Nate is encountering our colonies. So we can repel the savages, gain 200 population and natives in blah, 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 blah. present a trade for Persia, lose that, gain one tax base, or allow them to live in peace, lose two prestige, let them live. Repel the savages. Because at least it should do it quicker, hopefully. Um, I'm a bit worried though that they might get attacked. Like, I've never actually played an EU4 campaign long enough to know what happens to like the middle bits. 
like over here and like these bits like who gets them like seriously what happens with them do they actually become provinces you can take or what don't know I know very little about this game and um, this is one of the reasons why I did a let's play on it though like um, on the EU4 subreddit or the Paradox Plaza I was talking about how um, how I'm doing a let's play and stuff like that um, and I tried to, like, I, I asked a question, but it was quite an obvious question, it turns out. And, um, you know, it was all saying, no, you shouldn't be doing a Let's Play if you don't know anything about the game. But that's the reason I am doing a Let's Play. I'm doing a Let's Play because I want to learn about the game. I want people to be able to tell me and stuff like that, you know, offer advice in the comments and stuff. Um, I mean, I've had a bit of advice. I, I have had quite a lot of advice on, like... Now, since I hit like sort of 500, the 500 mark, I am get, my subscribers are actually picking up quite a lot of speed, as in uh, like I'm gaining quite a lot of subscribers now, um, and I'm actually getting a lot more comments. I think I've had more comments this last two weeks than what I have my whole uh, actual like well YouTube career, I guess you could say. Uh, stability or money, 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 money. Although there is actually a, a big fight going on here isn't there bohemia and great britain storming scandinavia which is good very good very very good antilles this is another portuguese i know it's french <laughs> moron i always laugh at that um what was i going to do then well we've got a lot of money so trade dippers what do these actually do local trade power plus 25 percent trade value and constable production efficiency. What do we get more money from? Trade or production? Or taxation, in fact. Production. So, obviously that would tell us that constables are more important. Well, it tells me that, anyway. <laughs> um, I've got to let these build up. Jeez, look at that. It's not doing it very fast, though, is it? How are we doing down here? It's quite interesting to actually see, like, a US colony. Oh, I find it interesting anyway. Um, what's this? The trial. I'll do that. I don't know what a Republican tradi tradition is. If you do actually know, please let me know. I'd be very, very grateful if you was to tell me. I mean, this episode is going to be more so like ex expanding colonially and building building up a uh, like technology and stuff like that. No hope it is anyway. Um, they haven't built the Suez yet. Is it Victoria Two where you can build the Suez? I have no idea. I don't really play that much Victoria Two. Um, I start well, I did actually start to try and play it quite often, but obviously. That weird thing happened with my computer where the screen goes black, the fans go really loud and it just restarts. Turns out it's my graphics card. Um, and I'm actually going to have to send my computer off. So that's why I'm doing a shitload of recording today on games. Luckily, the Let's Plays that I've recently started have all been games that it doesn't do it with. Like, it only does it with really demanding games and, like, games that have mo uh, graphic enhancing mods and stuff like that. Uh, so Darth Mod Empire, for instance. That was why I had to end it. So... Because I found out what the problem is, and I found out it isn't just Darth Mod causing it, I have still got the Darth Mod Empire save game. So that does actually mean I could well restart Darth Mod up. It should be quite entertaining. I'm going to put it on speed 4. It's a lot of waiting about. Uh, where are we going to get our coins? That's what I want to know. Quite a while, yeah. God, look at that. Thirty per year, Jesus. Must take its time, doesn't it? Um, right. Oh my God! <laughs> Fucking hell! France, 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 France. Jesus. Oh, let's see about that then. How the hell has France done that? An in inter-religious turmoil. Colonial disaster. 
disaster struck one of our colonists when the have died. Spare no effort. I, I can't afford to like have to lose all them already. I just got them when it takes absolutely ages. Right, the culture of Cayenne is English. English is in the British group. Other cultures in the British group are ah, right. Right, I can be Scottish. prestige because we are quite lacking in that. Um, we've still got that Cassie's belly, no that, sorry that mission to take mobile or mobile or whatever I don't know. I'll have to lose that. God, all these fucking events, why does it keep popping up? It's so annoying. We don't seem to keep... Right, this is so weird. Why are we losing these and then just getting them back straight away? It's quite peculiar. Um, we can actually get a new technology, which is good. And it's military, so it's even better. Yeah, we are massively behind. Uh, in technology, aren't we? Um... Your units have so suffered casualties. Loans coming due. Repay all the loans, why not? We might as well get rid of them, haven't we? Uh, truce will expire, yes, whatever. Uh, claims on the province you don't own, yep. Free advisors. F plus four, plus four, plus eight. Oh god, I am terrible at this game. I don't think I'll be able to ever t take on Great Britain, to be honest, guys. I may have to reinstate a new target of basically claiming all of that somehow. I don't know how I'd do it. God damn it, I should have sent colonists over here, shouldn't I? Have I got military access? Could I actually go straight through here? Ask for military access. So, have we got a conquistador? No. You need to quest for the new world. Shit. So can I not go over there? Uh, I don't think I can. Oh yeah, I can, actually. I, I might I feel like trying to get these. To be honest. I mean, I'll end the episode if I can actually do it. Curve it ops. That's no possible. So it'd just basically be a, a matter of declaring war outright. Hmm. In Great Britain and join, so why not? We've got no allies. And they've got a shit army. Although saying that, who fucking knows, god damn it. It'd be good to take this to expand the end. Brilliant. Oh look at that, they've been attacked by the other natives. <laughs> um, we can build stuff, marketplace, that now constable. We'll build it here, and up there. How are we going on down here then, are we nearly, uh, nope, I'm definitely not. <laughs> I mean, Definitely the main people that come around here, the main col colonists in, on this game is basically just Castillo, Portugal and France. Colony damaged. I'm going to have to build an navy, aren't I, and send an army over there. Right, let's do that then. Build ships, merchantmen. Which one is... Uh, Transport. Is it Galliot? Is it Merchantman? I think it's a Galliot. So if you get f five of them, then we'll have to like split a bit off this army. Once we've taken out Pawnee or whatever it is.
burner expenses, use caution, we'll do that. Um, right, there we go. 100% war score. Full annexation. Can't actually get any money off them, so it's alright. And there we go. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Wow. Um, we need to actually convert it straight away, though. And also make a call, but we can't do that. Right, so that means we can actually expand outwards. Now that makes me think, do I bother with this? I don't think we do, do we? I think we could still keep this, although what's the point? What's the point? Seriously. For some reason it's still saying that we've got them. forgot that we've got probably diplomatic. I don't know why we're still keeping them somehow. Um, ah, we've got to abandon them, that's why. Abandon and abandon. It's a bit of a shame, but I think I'd rather actually extend over here and stop like Britain and such expanding. Although we can't because we need a core province. We need to make it a core. I'm going to do that first before anything then. Um, where's revolt? Stability manager. Uh, can we do it? No. This province is 2000. Shit. So, does that mean we can't actually do it? Oh, you've got to be kidding. Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. I can't send it from here then. Right, it's too far away there. God damn it. Bermuda. Oh, but no, Portugal's got that. This is highly annoying. Osage, what about if we took that? I'd rather allied with a shitload of people. What about Cadder? I'm not allied with anyone. Let's attack them then. Uh, we might as well do that now. Build. We can build stuff. So, Constable. We'll do here and here. I've nearly got a constable everywhere now, which is good. Free advisor slots, uh, we could afford it, but we can't afford it as in uh, actual money wise. Revolts, instability, reduce, blah 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 blah, handle them. Can't do a lot, can we? I'll take Cadder and then I shall um, end the episode here. Units have such a, suffered. Oh, I could raise war taxes for a bit. Reduce inflation. I think my problem is, is I'm spending too much, like diplomatic and all these other points or powers, on um, stupid little wars, like trying to reduce, reduce like stability or so. So trying to increase stability or trying to reduce war exhaustion and stuff like that. I'm spending too much points on that. I think I just need like a good like 20 years of peace or something like that. Maybe I said to myself like set no wars until 1700. Just to give myself a chance to try and catch up a bit in technology. Shit, I'm just fair to take in Chickasaw. Come on, dear. Take them out. They're taking it faster than me. They have better defences than me. God damn it, they did. Right, we can get the last two constables when we're done. Um, Oh, God damn it, hurry up! It's an assault. That 
was a mistake. <laughs> so impatient when it comes to stuff like this. Some stuff like that. Um, can't do anything until this war's over. As soon as this war's over, that is it for wars now for a good amount of time, unless we get dragged into it. God damn it, look at this! No way! Oh, they got military access. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck off, I'm not accepting it. I want to crush it. Come on! Right, I'm going to end it here. You don't really want to watch this. There's nothing that entertaining going on. Um, so, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I shall see you next episode. Thank you and ta-ra.